The Evergreen Media Network Studio, powered by Scott Tree Services. From Studio A in sunny Florida, welcome to Beauty and the Beach Radio, where it's all about who's beautifying Vero Beach. Today's show is brought to you by Dale Sorensen Real Estate. And here's your host and glamour girl, makeup artist, Cindy Getz. Hey guys, welcome back to Beauty and the Beach Radio. We hope you've had a great week. I hope you're watching the Olympics. It's absolutely amazing amazing to watch and to see all those athletes do their thing. And you guys, we have an Olympian on the show today. You don't want to miss it. It's going to be amazing. Um, we have two guests on the show today. Um, first of all, let me introduce to you. She is right here from Vera Beach, Florida, Shumetta McLendon. Hey, Shumetta. Hello, hello. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Are you an Olympian? Uh, no, I am not. I am <laughs> I am what is known as a NARP. I, so Have tell you heard us, this term? Yeah, tell us what the NARP is. So a NARP stands for <laughs> non-athletic regular person. <laughs> and that is me, 100%. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> Well, we will tell the audience how you are associated here yeah. with the Olympics. Um, please welcome our next guest. I'm going to give you some fun facts about him. He was born in Budapest. Um, he is an Italian pro water polo player. Um, guys, at 15, he signed his first pro water polo contract. Pretty good. Pretty cool. Um, won world's best water polar polo player in 2011. And of course, you guys, every elite athlete's dream accolade, he is an Olympian. Please welcome Alex Giorgetti. Hi. Ciao a tutti. Ciao. Thank you for having me uh, here. Thanks, thanks for being here in Vera Beach. Oh, it's welcome. wonderful. Vera Isn't Beach. it? It's yeah. paradise. It really yeah. is. Alex, um, so I want to ask you a very serious question. So you won an Olympic silver medal for the Italian men's team in London 2012 at the Olympic Games. What was that like? It was a, a unique experience because the Olympics are the <clears throat> greatest sport festival in all the world. And uh, you have it only one time every four years. And uh, more than uh, 300 nations, I don't know, maybe 400 nations will be all together in one city, in one Olympic village. And you will share there like emotions, like different sports, culture, and you can feel that uh, the power of the sport. The energy. The energy. Yeah. You know, I, I want you to take our audience back because when I read that you uh, signed your, you know, at 15, you were already, you know, in yeah, the sport. Yeah, it was 15, 16. So when did you realize, when did you start this sport and when did you realize you were really good at it? I mean, I was born in Hungary. My mother is Hungarian and in Hungary, water polo is like soccer in, or, or in Argentina, the soccer, you know, so... Is the like the temple of water polo, Ankari. They uh, won uh, a lot of medal in the Olympics, World Championship, and uh, European Championship. So they are one of the best nation in all of the world, water polo. So they are the culture of water polo. So my mom uh, bring me this love for uh, water polo, and when I was a child, I was uh, training in Italy, but in summer times I was going in Hungary. And that was the all big champions. And uh, my mom said me, hey, go in the water and uh, train with these kids. And the coach that one was one of the best player at that time, when was a former player, was saying to my mom, hey, he is talented. He has to play water polo. Mm. So when uh, we get back to Italy, my mom uh, was uh, like pushing me, like supporting me to play uh, water polo. My father was supporting me to play soccer. But everybody of them wanted me to be happy, and they find my joy and my happiness with water polo. So I started wow. when I was seven, eight, and after I was uh, good enough to be a pro player, like uh, at like teenager, like 15, 16, you know. So I was playing with the national team at 17, 18, wow. and after it was my career. Yeah. Amazing. That is amazing. That is so, so incredible. Um, I, I want to really tell you how much I respect that sport. Um, I took lifeguard training 
Okay. And oh, cool. I was at one of, that was one of my jobs uh, um, during college was a lifeguard. And we had to tread water for several minutes, which was so hard. And then we had to hold a brick over our head and still tread. So I have such respect. I've always wondered how the heck you guys have the stamina for that long to be throwing this ball in the air yeah. and still keep yourself, you know, mobile. It is truly amazing to me. Yeah, it's it's a tough sport. I mean, you need uh, to have a resilience, endurance, uh, water skills. I mean, to know how to move in the wet, in the water. It's about you know speed, fast. You know, it's a complete uh, sport because of what you do on the ground, you have to do in the water. Yeah, I, I truly respect that, Alex. It is absolutely uh, a, an amazing feat, in my opinion. So. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. So, okay, so fast forward now, Alex, you are taking your love for water polo yeah. and now you're turning it into somewhat of an enterprise, okay, where you are taking this love and you are sharing it with other people in a few different ways, uh, especially uh, in the George, Georgetti Athletics that yeah. you've created. And so I'm going to switch this back to... Um, to our other guest, and, and um, I'm going to ask her, you know, how she got started with this organization. Um, so I want you to tell us a little bit about uh, Shimeta, this this whole um, this mission. OK, so when we met, we were talking about just doing um, uh, water polo classes and clinics and things like that. And then just through my research, I found a statistic that 64 percent of black children in the U.S. don't know how to swim, and it's actually 80% in England. Wow. And that stat hit home for me because I only learned how to swim as an adult, and neither one of my parents can swim. So basically, like, we were, I'm the statistic, you know? Wow. And so <clears throat> we thought, okay, we're doing water polo, but why not also make it about water safety? You know, because as I was talking to more people, I discovered it wasn't just black children. There are so many people sure. who don't know how to swim, or they're yeah. not strong swimmers. And they're not comfortable in the water. Right. And with us being in Florida, being in Vero Beach, there's so much water around us. Absolutely. So the idea of how can we take this amazing sport and use it as something fun to get kids in the water? Because what happens a lot is even if they do um, get swimming lessons, they get the lessons and they stop. And then they never kind of become stronger swimmers. And water polo is the only team sport that's played in the water. So it's like, let's just... Do, do something that makes it really, really fun for these kids. And so with that, and then also with cross-training as well. So even if you already play another sport, like if you play football or you play basketball, still do water polo because it's going to build your strength and endurance. It's going to make you stronger. All of these other things to then make it a fun way for these kids, especially if they're older kids. You know, if you're 13 and you don't know how to swim, sometimes it can be embarrassing and, you know, you won't necessarily take classes. But if it's a part of another sport that you're already doing, you know, and you get that cross training as well, then that's another way to get those kids in. So, so, so for Georgetti Athletics, for the people out there listening, your mission is is in that transformation, transformational power of athletics, right? And being yeah. able to empower other people through, you know, strength training, through the mind, you know, helping yeah. them have that confidence. Right. Is yeah, that right? You're right. Yeah. So, we want to encourage you, uh, like, Children, in this case, also marginal children of underserved communities, to learn how to swim, to become water friendly, and uh, also learn to swim and maybe have fun also with water polo. So it's like a community impact, a community development. Love and that. And the other side also to give also professional trainings, so to bring like high level water polo trainings high level uh, trainings about also online interaction so the thing to have like uh uh one on one lesson about the mindset of an athlete so the champion mindset or uh, how to uh, have a, a healthy nut uh, nutrition so mm -hmm. how to also rest during the day mm -hmm. how mm -hmm. to use the sport like education outside the pool 
So it's like a complete 360 degree academy. So you're really, as far as your programs at Georgetti Athletics, it, it can be virtual, it can be, you know, hands on, it can be beginner, it can be advanced. Right. I'm hearing, a, a you know, it's very encompassing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and as Alex likes to say, it's it's sport for all. It's yeah. it's the academy for everyone. So okay. if you are a beginner, we've got something for you. Yeah. If you're advanced and you think like, okay, like you said, like I want to take this to the next level, then we have Alex to train you at that next level. And then also, if we discover that there are just some adults who want to just get together and, and start like a master's program, we can do that as well. So it, it's whatever anyone is interested in, we're here for you. Yeah. I love that. Um, so I want to talk about this personal journey. Not everybody is a sports star and goes on to uh, <laughs> to help other people. Okay. Yeah. So Alex, kudos to you on that. Um, but I'm going to read a, a quote. I hope you don't mind, but I I want people to hear it because I feel like they it will help them to understand your heart. Yeah. Okay. So I, here's here's. Here's the uh, the quote that I found from you. Yeah. Uh, now, this is back a while, okay? So it says, Since Italy has not won the world championship in the last 20 years, I made the decision that if we achieved a good result, I would come to Medju, Georgie, and thank Jesus for that. Not only did we become the world championship winners, but I was awarded as the best player of the championship. Take me back to that moment. So, uh, part of my life, it's about the fate. So mm-hmm. the fate give me the balance to live my private life, my sport career. And so to be like, uh, uh, not only an athlete, but also a mature person mm-hmm. during my life. And uh, it was a moment of my career that uh, I wanted to reach something in my uh, sport career and I was knowing that it was gaming some very good result, like winning result. But at the meantime, I was uh, knowing better Jesus, Mary and the God. So they were coming together and I was saying to myself, uh, I feel this is the right moment that uh, if we achieve or I will achieve something important to me, I have to let know people that behind an athlete, there is like a spiritual or a Christian person that uh, it's uh, believing in God because nothing is made for you like a gift, but only God can give you this gift, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. And so this was my intention. And uh, after that, uh, I kept my uh, faith until today. And uh, also this could be also maybe a thing that I will, would like to spread and would like to give also to the people that will come to Georgia Athletics. I like that. I think you recognize there's a power bigger than yourself. Yeah, of course. Yeah, that's amazing. So, you know, with that personal journey and, and all the achievements, and, and it sounds like you definitely give, you know, God the glory, um, move us forward. What's going on? What's your future goals? What, what's happening with, with your life and with Georgetti Athletics? I have to talk or yeah, you? Yeah, you. Oh, <laughs> it's my turn. It's your turn. <laughs> okay. Now, uh, okay, we uh, choose like a uh, big like, uh, headquarters, Vero Beach. Yay. Me, me and Shumeta. That's right. Yay. <laughs> That's perfect because yeah. it's a unique place and uh, I like so much. And uh, Shumeta did this uh, help me to launch the academy. Yeah. She is from here. Yeah. So it's, I think that it's the perfect, perfect spot where to start with this academy. And I would like to maybe, I don't know, maybe move in America and work here and uh, give my experience through the academy and the help, you know, the, I mean, the USA just to grow like a water polo, to discover talents, to help the community and find myself in America. Mm-hmm. So I, w- yeah. I couldn't think about when I was uh, in the World Championship or in the Olympics that uh, I will sit now in front of you yeah. and talking about how I am here to give right. my experience, to teach skills, to use water polo like vehicle, to... Yeah. Uh, involve more kids or people as possible in Vero Beach to play and swim, you know. Well, we're so lucky to have you, Alex, and to yeah. spread your talent like that and to have 
uh, Shimetta right at your side, and really, it's it's such a blessing. Um, talk about some of the collaborations. Um, now, I, I did see where you're going to be going to, you're going out to California, is that right, in Texas um, for some Junior Olympics? Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, um, so Alex went out to California for the, the first phase of the Junior Olympics, and then actually tomorrow we are, <laughs> we are going to Texas for part two of the Junior Olympics there. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And yeah. then you're coming back. We don't want to miss this before we go to station break, but you're going to come back because there's something super special this weekend. Yes, there is. So um, Saturday and Sunday, um, you know, the community can meet Alex, yes. meet the Olympian. Yes. Um, so tell us about this event. So um, so our event, it is an evening with an Olympian, with our uh, illustrious Olympian who is here with us now. And uh, it will be an evening for people to come, to get to know him, to uh, learn about what we're doing with Georgetti Athletics, to hear about his life, his personal journey. We'll do a, a Q&A session. Whenever we do that, I notice kids always want to know, like, what does he eat? You know? no! <laughs> That's always, like, one of the main questions that, yeah. you know, that they it. ask. It's always, you know, and for me, like, I love seeing the reaction that, sure. that people have to him, and especially, you know, for kids, like one of my... Uh, younger cousins, I said, "Oh, you know, this is Alex. You know, he's an Olympian, and his face just was like, oh, <laughs> I know, right? you know, it's because a big deal. because right, it, it's 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 a, a it's a huge deal, yeah. you know. And yeah. it's like he's an Olympian, he's a medalist, he's a world champion, he's an MVP, yeah. you know. So it's like this is truly like he is one yeah. of the strongest yeah. people in the world, yeah. like truly, you know. And he, he talks about like champion mindset and just the way he thinks about Thank things. You so much, and, I will oh. pay you later. <laughs> <laughs> right? Aww. But and you know, and, and you, but you t you talk about um, like the quote that you read. That was one of the first things that I that I read about him, and I was like, wow, this is this is a different type of person, mm -hmm. and and what his heart is, and what I what, saw you light up yeah, when I read because yeah. you didn't know I was going to read. No, that. I did she not. Did not I did she did not. not know. Surprise! No. Surprise! Yeah. yeah, and and the way he wants to give to the community and and give to youth because you know there are lots of athletes where you know they can sign autographs, but they actually don't, you know. They're not that involved and engaged, as you said before. Like, oh, I could, I could go out and just do these clinics and make a ton of money, and it, but he's not connecting with the kids. So the fact yeah. that he wants to really come into our community and establish a relationship, you know, with our kids, that like that brings me so much joy, and it makes me so proud to be able to bring this incredible person to our community. Absolutely. Yeah. And it brings joy to Vera Beach for sure. Yeah. Alex, thank you so much. We're going to go to a station break. I want to make sure if you didn't hear, it's August uh, 3rd and 4th. That's this weekend. It's Saturday. It's Sunday. It's 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. at the Roy McLendon Junior Fine Art Gallery, which is right there uh, beside a Bonefish Grill right yeah. in that uh, Miracle Mile Plaza. Um, RSVP online at GeorgettiAthletics.com. And um, there's there's no charge, but a donation would be uh, accepted. And uh, we'll chat one more time about that. Uh, we got to go to a station break. So stay with us. We'll be right back. Sturgis Lumber is the county's most trusted hardware store. Sturgis stocks stainless steel products, power tools, construction and painting supplies, propane, plumbing, and electrical parts. 4645 US 1 Vero Beach. Sturgis Lumber and Hardware. It's hurricane season. Prune your trees now with Scott Tree Services. Strengthen your trees against high winds and remove broken limbs that could cause damage. Don't get nervous. Call Scott Tree Services. At Sunshine Furniture, our 35,000 square foot showroom is filled with the largest selection of in-stock coastal furniture on the Treasure Coast. Now during our summer sale, you can save 10 to 50% store-wide on furniture in the latest styles and colors from Tommy Bahama, Lexington, Hooker, Riverside, Universal, Four Seasons, Braxton Color, Capri, and more. Sofas, love seats, dining sets, bedroom groups, all in stock for immediate delivery. We're also the outdoor furniture experts and have hundreds of styles of any patio furniture you need, including a gallery of Berlin Garden, Hollywood, and Kingsley Bait. Sunshine Furniture, 1295 US 1 in the Publix Plaza, Vero Beach. Come in now for our store-wide summer sale, including all pictures, lamps, and accessories half price. Don't forget to visit our outlet and sales store directly across the street and visit our website at sunshinefurniturecasual.com. Sunshine. Furniture!
It's time to call Easy Brew Coffee and Bottled Water Service and learn just how much you can save and how convenient it is to have your coffee and bottled water delivered right to your home or office. In addition to water coolers, Easy Brew offers individual bottles of water in 8 or 16 ounce bottles. No more lugging it home or dragging it into the office. Serving the Treasure Coast for over two decades, two letters, one simple name. Easy for Easy Brew. Visit e-zbrew.com or call 800-792-3285. Easy Brew. Hey guys, welcome back to Beauty and the Beach Radio. I'm Cindy Getz, your host. And we are talking Olympics. We have an Olympian in the studio. and um, But we want to make sure we do thank Dale Sorensen Real Estate for um, sponsoring the show. They always make sure we're on air so that we can share with you who is beautifying Vera Beach. Dale Sorensen Real Estate, family owned since 1978. You can find them at 772-231-4712. You can also find them at sorensenrealestate.com. So whether you're buying or selling a home, definitely reach out to them. They definitely know what they're doing. So thank you, Dale Sorensen Real Estate. And we also want to thank Varietals and More. You know, they always give us lovely beverages for our guests. And um, I told them, you know, they always do it based on the theme. And I told and we have an Olympian on the show today. So guess Cheers. what? We had to go French. We I, even though oh. even though you played for Italy, oh, we had I to know. go with French because you know the Olympics are in Paris. And that's so fair. yes, yeah, that's fair. Yeah. So this is a Francois Montag. It is a rose. It is actually it is a champagne method wine. Okay, it is absolutely wonderful. It is straight from France and the Alpine French me- uh, French meadows. So you guys, it's lovely. It's it's light. It's perfect to um, actually. It, the uh, Rob said it's really great with potato chips. <laughs> so only if you're a polo player in training can you eat potato <laughs> chips. But I'll, I'll drink the rosé anyway. So have some rosé while you're watching the Olympics right now. Um, if you go to Varietals and More and tell them that Beauty and the Beach sent you, you will get that 10% discount. So thank you, Rob and Michelle. Varietals on Royal Palm Point. We're wrapping it up. We only have a couple minutes. I'm so sad. I love my guests. They're so much fun and they're really helping to beautify Vera Beach with their Olympic attitude and of course um, we are talking about a really special event that is coming up this weekend you guys I know it's airing right now so if you've got the radio on and you're hearing this it's happening right now just <laughs> just drive your car right to the gallery right beside uh, Bonefish Grill and you'll be able to meet an Olympian and really get inspired um, Shimetta so one more time daytime in place of this amazing event and who are we spotlighting at this event so the day is uh, august 3rd and 4th uh, from 5 to se- from 5 to 7 p.m uh, each evening and then uh, we are highlighting the one and only alex giorgetti yay and we will um, talk about his life his journey um, uh, what's important to him the mission of giorgetti athletics and we'll do a Q&A for um, anyone who wants to ask any questions. And we'll also do pictures and autograph session okay, as well. So I have a question. Can I go first? Yeah, of course. So, Absolutely. Um, Alex, I love your mission. I love what you're doing. And I love that you want to help people and, and help young people and, and you know give them water safety and help them be better polo players and just help them be a better person. So how can I help? How can Vera Beach help your uh, Giorgetti, you know, athletics. How how can we help you? How can we help that grow? Either one of you. Okay. You go first, Alex, and then I'll... I mean, we are <laughs> looking for a partner, for a sponsor that uh, want to embrace our project. And every small donation at the beginning can help us to step-by-step step grow up like Academy and in order to help the community with our programs. So... Any donation would, Any dona- would be wonderful. Yeah. Right. Okay. Right. Yeah. So if there's, you know, obviously if there's a larger company that wants to make a, a corporate sponsorship, we would love that. And also if there's someone who, you know, just likes what we're doing and says, hey, you know, I want to sponsor a kid who's interested in this. You know, we can we can do that as well because we want everyone who wants to participate to be to able be to involved. do so. Yeah. yeah. I love it. We're going to wrap it up. I just saw where Italy won over U.S. 12-8. Uh, I what know. Are called. I know. So good for you. Not so good for us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, right? Um, I'm going to end with Alex. He says, the most beautiful thing is when you are able to live the truth and to be what you really are. I love that. So yeah. thank you for being here. And we look it was forward a pleasure. to this Saturday and Sunday. We'll come meet you and get some autographs. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Cool. Oh, <laughs> ciao.